While I've been studying candidates' backgrounds and writings, I've made no decision except one. The person I will nominate will be someone with extraordinary qualifications, character, experience, and integrity. And that person will be the first black woman ever nominated to the United States Supreme Court. It's long overdue in my view. It's long overdue in uh, Joe Biden's opinion. That's him reaffirming his uh, pledge during his uh, campaign to appoint a black woman to the Supreme Court now that Justice Breyer has announced his retirement. Um, so after this all happened, there's been a blizzard of snowflakes that are very upset about this because mm -hmm. a black woman, <laughs> what is she gonna do to me? You know how black people are. Legal expert Tommy Lauren led the charge, let's watch. Yeah, it doesn't change the ideological makeup, but we know that what Joe Biden does best is placate to the radical element and the radical progressive base of his party that he believes is the majority. I believe he's incorrect in that. I believe that they're actually the minority, but I'm wondering the kind of justice that he would nominate. Now, again, I'm sure it will be, as Guy said, a black woman. You know, he's got a dedication to that. We saw how well that worked out with Kamala Harris, but here's to hoping that he has a better choice in mind for this position. So, you know, black women, black women. Hey, if you don't like one in her position and what she's doing, that means another black woman being nominated for another position must be horrific because you know, all those black people are just stupid. They don't know how to uh, to hold any kind of position or office, especially in government, controlling anything that has to do with me. Do you know that they're beneath me? So uh, when Tommy got that a little bit of pushback like that, specific from S.E. Cup, just pointing out that she's saying the quiet part out loud. Mm -hmm. Tommy then responded with this tweet, picking a nominee based solely on race, gender, and identity politics is what I'm criticizing, and you know that. We don't know that, and actually, you don't know that either. Because uh, law professor Steve Vladek pointed it out on his Twitter as well, and he said President Ronald Reagan promised to appoint the first woman to the Supreme Court when he was elected, that was 1980 about. Conservatives at the time celebrated it as a good move. Isn't that weird how that works? Here's that headline from 19, October 15th of 1980. President Reagan pledges he's gonna name a woman to the Supreme Court. Cheers and, uh, and confetti flies down, crazy. But you know what, that was 1980, stop. JR, 1980 bro, come on. It's not like something like that happened in 2020 or anything. Let's look at this, Trump on the Supreme Court nominee. It will be a woman. Weird how that works. That's September 19th of 2020. It's weird mm -hmm. how our memory is super short when it comes to the kind of person that you are celebrating to be on the Supreme Court. The difference here is what Reagan nominated black, a, a woman, uh, Trump nominated a woman, Biden says he's gonna nominate a black woman. Mm. Suddenly yeah. it's woke. <laughs> Which just woke culture, woke as in code for people of color, specifically black people. I'm just gonna call it woke and then I can hide behind that and not appear racist. Cuz that's what that term has ultimately become. I mean, it's, it's so ridiculous, how dare you? Like I have criticisms of Kamala Harris, but how dare you say we saw how well it worked out with Kamala Harris? And you're saying that to a black female anchor on top of that? Ugh, just, just so reprehensible and disgusting. But yeah, exactly. It, it's um, every time a black person is nominated, achieves something, um, you know, uh, is treated fairly by a system that is so historically treated black people unfairly. Well, no, nah, they're just that's a handout. That's that's wokeness. That's because they have to. That's a da 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 da. And like, honestly. I I really wish that Joe Biden could double down on why, you know, mm. why why a black woman, you know, not only a woman, but why a black woman? Um, talking about the justice system in this country, how it is historically worked against black people. So I think that would help. Uh, may it wouldn't help with Republicans, but I think it would help sort of make that case on why it is important and why this representation matters. And it, it you know what, it would help, but it sucks that you'd have to explain why a person who represents a significant portion of the country who has been underrepresented throughout our history through vicious reasons and vicious policies has to be there in a judicial position at the top of the country to make sure there's representation and acknowledgement of who lives here. They don't want that. Again, it's why they don't want the education on that because then people might start thinking, oh man, there's a good reason to have someone on here that's always been persecuted in this country because we tell everyone 
there's been no persecution in this country, only advancement. Everyone was born here great and given every opportunity ever. It's just not the case.